Welcome to the Nugule Nook. The Nugule Nook is an episodic series where we discuss the details of our jewelry, um, our collections and our packaging, and kind of everything that it takes to have Nugule run as a jewelry company. Today on the Nugule Nook, we will be talking about our Muse collection, which is our first collection from our designer line here at Nugule. So our designer line is the pieces that we actually design. So these are pieces that are creatively drawn from scratch um, and come from one of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so within the Muse collection, we have six pieces and their names are Zoya, Ebi, Jada, Irie, Demi, and Deja. The amazing thing about all these pieces is that their original sketches came from mm -hmm. Your brains, your, My brain. your, your, your creative place. Yes. Um, so what was going through your mind? Going through my mind was representation. representation. And just knowing that they wouldn't have certain skin tones, I had to think of other ways to make them all different. Mm -hmm. All curl patterns were represented, all different hairstyles were represented, all different face shapes and so on and so forth. And that's kind of the one thing that I really love about all the muses is that there is no skin tone and there is no size. Mm -hmm. The reason we called it the Muse Collection is because these are essentially, from our perspective, the women that we looked up to growing up. The images that we recognize, the faces we recognize. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take a closer look at the Muse Collection. We have a two millimeter curve chain. Um, but the nice thing about the curb chain is it slides the pendant nicely. There's some chains that it didn't slide nicely on and we did not like that. So that's one of the reasons we chose this chain. We have a right-handed closure lobster clasp. It's a very easy open and close uh, clasp. We also have three jump rings so you can wear it at three different lengths. The beautiful thing about our Muse collection is that our pieces come in two different lengths. The first length is 18 to 20 inches, and then the second one is 20 to 22 inches. Um, this is perfect for styling and for sizing, making sure that you have the right necklace on without it being too tight or too loose. Mm -hmm. um, and then when it, you wanna get a little fancy with it, it makes really great for layering options, um, whether you want to layer multiple muses together or if you wanna layer muses with the signature collection. At the end of this chain, you can see there is a Afro pick. This is one of those fine details that we took extra time in designing because we didn't want our chain tag to be just our logo that was in a circle. We wanted it to add a little bit of flair to the necklace and add a bit of purpose as well. Give it some style, give it some flavor. And another important purpose of the Afro pick is that it stops the pendant from falling off the chain. Isn't that amazing? So you don't have to worry about losing it. I've lost many pendants in my lifetime um, and I don't want any of you to go through the same thing, especially with a piece like this. Yeah, yeah. as an added bonus, I'm just gonna have you pull that. Mm -hmm. We're pulling, this is not coming apart because the jump rings are soldered the backing doesn't fit the afro pick, so as you know, that's not sliding off. And then the clasp is also soldered at the other side. Yeah. So there's tension here. And we're actually gonna flip it over and take a look at the back, specifically at this invisible veil that we designed. It is inspired by our afro pick tag charm. Basically what we did was we took the afro pick and we bent it into a half moon, a half heart shape. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we stuck it on the back. That's, the, that's, 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 that's very much what happened. Um, and the reason that we did that is because when designing the muses, neither of us liked the look of the veil sitting over their head. Having a random obstruction from the image and from like the design itself, it didn't really make sense to us. So we had to, we sat on it for quite some time trying to figure out how exactly to get around this. Because if it's not perfect, we won't we release won't it. release it. We have to be able to look at it and be like, this is a complete piece. We yeah. look at this and we say it's finished. And we are happy with it. And we're happy with it. Mm -hmm. Would the public love it? Absolutely. Yes. yes, okay, we can let it, we can let it go. 
So if you take a much closer look at the backing, we have our logo, not to just have it on the Afro pick, but also to have it on the back of the pendant because we know that they are separate entities. And if the pendant ever comes apart from the chain, you still know where you got the pendant and where you got this necklace. Even though we make this so that it cannot come off the chain, we know some of you have already popped it off. Um, as long as you're doing it on purpose, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. The Muse collection is gold plated brass. In between the layer of gold plating and brass, we have a layer of rhodium. So the nice thing about the rhodium is it gives you a warning before you hit the brass because we know that people have allergies or sensitivities to brass itself. Mm -hmm. If you do have a brass allergy, you are safer to wear our pieces because of that layer of rhodium. So you're probably wondering why we decided to go with gold plated brass as the material of choice for our designer line. After many tests, we came to the conclusion that brass was not only the most affordable option, but it was also the best to use to bring out the most details in our designs. The value of that goes so much further than the actual value of the material itself. Mm -hmm. If you want it to last you a lot longer, we would suggest investing in the Jewels Unlocked program. More details about the Jewels Unlocked program will be coming soon. If you want to hear more about the Muse collection, be sure to stay tuned as we will be going into more detail about each and every Muse and their specific details in future videos. We'll see you soon.